STS Ron Kuhn in at computers.com outro video parity. Oi, I wanted to make this video showing you how to mount a laptop SATA hard drive into a desktop, but this is an all-in-one. I've had this for a few days now. It's a Dell Inspiron 1 2305. It's an all-in-one, however, it was designed for a desktop hard drive, and this is the cover that came with the computer. It just slides right out. Now I'll just show you really quick. This is the 750 gigabyte SATA hard drive that came with the computer and it's SATA as you can see. It's got SATA connectors. It's bad. It's failing. Can't recover the data yet. Probably, I don't know, I'd have to, you can saw, you can learn how to replace the circuit boards, but it's more technical than that. You, I don't want to digress about that. But I wanted to show you that this was mounted in here like this, and then there were four screws actually that mounted it upside down. I just want to show you what, they, what you can do is you can mount a laptop hard drive. So as you can see, these four holes line up, one there, one there, one there, whoops, off camera, one there, one there. And these were the original screws. They're silver. They fit their but they do not fit on this laptop hard drive. So, so you just take out the hard drive uh, from the cover and we'll set this aside behind me. Now the customer had a, her brother's laptop that probably has a bad motherboard. I might, she might have me look at it. She had a spare SATA hard drive. Now the connectors have to be the same. So you just want to make sure, as you can see here, here's the old SATA desktop hard drive. They're obviously quite a bit different sized, but if you look closely, the connectors are the exact same size, and I can even move these around to show you that the connectors are exactly the same size because that's how SATA was designed. That was, to me was an ingenious, that was an ingenious design. So that tells you that the power and the SATA are the same connector. So you can in install a, these are three, and, no, these are two and a half inches. Desktop hard drives are three and a half inches. So you can mount these into a all-in-one or a desktop. So they do sell kits. They sell mounting kits. Probably they're gonna be a little bit thinner. I'm assuming I've never ordered one, but I know they have mounting kits. They'll fit in here, and then I would say on each side they probably have a, a separate metal on each side. So then, and then the hard drive would kind of fit like that, and then it would the mounting kit would fit inside here, and then or or like on a desktop. I don't have you know a desktop. They've got three and a half inch slots and also they have floppy slots but those are also three and a half so they have mounting kits I recommend that you get a mounting kit this I'm not gonna use a mounting kit because by the time I order it I'd have to wait for it to get it ordered in and I want to make sure that I get this back to her this next weekend because I would have had the computer for a week and I don't really want to keep it much longer than that so I found another way I took out the cover and I was just looking over it and what I noticed is that you have this isn't solid obviously so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these holes they're not screw holes they're not standard holes that you would use to screw so be aware of that they're just maybe br a breather element to allow the you know airflow that's what I'm thinking because it uh, so, like you notice this over here I don't know if you can see it off camera this other cover over here is solid this one, I'm assuming it's for, you know, airflow. And then these screws do not, I tried them. You don't want to strip. You don't want to, you know, use screws that aren't the right size. I tried. They're not the right size. They're a little bit too wide. And then I found these two screws as a computer repair technician. I collect screws because you just never know from like 20 years ago. I found these screws and the... I don't know if you can tell. I might be able to show you. 
I can tell with the naked eye. I don't know if you can tell with the camera. Let me try to hold them up for you. You see how the the black one is skinnier than the silver one, and when you you know you put them together, it's a little bit thinner. So that's good. It's not as wide. These are perfect sized, and I tested them out. So I'm going to use these two, and I'll show you my little screw collection really quick. Just give me a few seconds here. These screws are a bag that I have that these go back, pro you know, two decades, mid-90s. As a computer tech and also learning how to build my own computers, I've got, look at the, some of the plastic ones from a motherboard. They're already discolored. But these screw, I mean, screws last so long time. And they're odd. They're different shapes and sizes. These are desktop screws. Even though this is a, a laptop hard drive, laptop screws are, here I'll show you my collection of laptop screws. So if you have a collection of screws, you can, you know, might be able to not order a, a, a mounting kit, if you, you know what I'm saying. My laptop screw collection from, you know, two decades at least, these are all laptops, pretty sure. Pretty sure, although I don't, yeah, yeah, these are, especially the blue and black ones, but yeah, these are all laptop. Okay, I just wanted to go over that, so if you have a collection of screws, that could help. Alright, so now, I'm going to mount it, I have to take off this hardware, so we'll do that, let me get screwdrivers. The customer just dropped off the hard drive after work. And it's after hours, but I was like, I'll just, I'll make this video now showing you my mount, my, my non-standard mount. And we'll just put that like there. This is all legitimate. All kinds of people mount laptop SATA hard drives into desktops or all in ones because the connectors are the same. So I got my screwdriver. So let's take off this. This came from a laptop, so it has this mounting bracket. We'll take this out. We'll save the screws. I'm going to return this to the customer. I even told her just in case she decides to have me replace that motherboard or I'm. I'm trying to learn how to solder, but I'm just not good enough at it right as of now. But in the future, I plan on providing that as a service. You can repair motherboards by resoldering. You get a you get a multimeter and you me start measuring voltage and you try to find out what's where the electrical problem is at. As you can see, these are laptop screws, so we'll just put put these aside. And I'm going to give back her the mounting kit in case she decides to have me sell her a hard drive that she needs. Since she's taken this out of her laptop, now the laptop doesn't have a hard drive, but the laptop, according to her, has a bad motherboard. That's very possible. She's more computer literate than most of my customers. And I was wrong about the hard drive. I thought it would be good. The desktop I just showed you, it's failing. It's failing. Alright, so then the the little that comes right out, save that. I save these, but you know. This goes back to her, so let me put this behind me. Now it's just a standard say to hard drive. I'm assuming this is a good hard drive. Before I load Windows 7, I'm gonna restore this computer back to Windows 7. I don't have the factory recovery partition, so I'm gonna have to it does have the sticker so that's another thing you want to be aware of if you you do you do not need to buy a new copy of windows if as long as you have a legitimate certificate of authenticity sticker and you just type in the the product key as long as this product key has not been used on another computer it should be just fine 
So what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that the connections are as close to this hole, this opening as possible. Otherwise, if you and you need to be aware of how long these cables are. you do not these are tied together. I don't necessarily want to break these ties because it's factory. And but you want to be aware that you do not just start yanking in cables because you need more length. So and I don't want to have the hard drive sit inside here too far back. And then I and then I mean think about it. I'm gonna so because originally the connectors were right here. So I want to try to put the hard drive as close to the hole as possible. Otherwise, I mean I mean think about it. You have to do this and it makes it more difficult. So I found I already did this last night. So I'm going to mount it like this. I'm going to use these holes as the uh, to mount. At first I thought maybe I could use these holes here to mount. Come on. But it just it's not going to sit right. It doesn't line up and then you could angle it like that and get one and then get that one. But nah, that's going to be too much of a pain in the ass to connect the SATA connectors. I want it as flush as possible. So here's my solution is right here they it actually oh you know what let me think oh there it is they line up they line up right there and also if you notice that lines up too so i will be still be able to access the power and this and the sata and they line up so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to line it up as close as possible it's only going to be two screws and I'm going to use these screws. Another thing I tested was, since these are our airflow holes most likely, make sure that the screw doesn't fall through. There were other screws that were, you know, you notice on laptop screws and even desktop screws, the top of the screw is wider, quite a bit wider, and some are wider. This would fall through. And I had other another set of screws that I tested and they fell through. I'm a perfectionist, you know. My point is that you could find screws where it, it's it's going to be the screws are going to be wide enough that it will tighten down. So then I'm just going to tighten these two down, and I don't have to get a mounting kit, and I don't have to wait. And then I'm going to mount this laptop hard drive. So I'm going to not tighten that one all the way you know, again you're not building an automobile you're not a NASCAR mechanic you don't need to worry about torque just make sure these are tight there we go so they're nice and tight really and the screws are not gonna push through and you can even shake it see that's not gonna move that is solid that's that's my point Make sure if you do a non-standard mount that the screws are r wider than the hole and then make sure they're tight and make sure that they're not going to fall through. You know what I'm saying? This isn't, isn't going anywhere. I would prefer that I could have mounted it with four screws. I prefer that, but two is pretty good. And then it's flush. And if you flip it over, it's it's up against the edge that this hard drive isn't going to go anywhere even if I drop this no, nothing's going to happen that's my point and you can even double check make sure they're nice and tight and make sure I could even make sure that it's sent a little bit more centered if I wanted to but it, it's pretty good this hard drive isn't going anywhere that's the whole point now you just slide it forward in this uh, it should be like I'm trying to see what's in the way here yeah I guess that's good and then before I tighten these screws down I don't in the front you should be able to, uh, you might not be able to see them there's two screws one here and one here I'm going to connect, make sure I get the connectors. I did this last night, but it, this, this piece won't come off. 
there's like six screws underneath here. I don't even know if this plastic will come off. I wish it wasn't like that, but. I'm pretty sure I got it flush. Or I could do it this way. I could connect it like this, make sure that, and then I'll be able to. All right. So that's, that'll fit. There's some flex on this one. So that gives me a lot of room. Come on now. Uh, I think it's upside, yeah, it's upside down. No, it's not, that's correct. There it goes, there it goes. Just make sure that th this a lot of times this cable the newer ones the newer SATA they've got a clip they've got a release clip this one doesn't have a release clip but just make sure that it, it's not gonna come off by itself and then I'm gonna slide that in the way it was now oh, come on now there I think that's it all right then I'm gonna tighten these and then that's it so this is a non-standard mount of a laptop part say a hard drive into a whoops into a desktop well it's an all-in-one but this is a cover for a desktop hard drive because I already showed you that to begin this video and then the you know that's it god damn it And then that way you don't have to get a mount. I don't have to get a mounting kit, but yeah, that is recommended. You can get them. They're they're not that expensive. You can order a mounting kit for a laptop hard drive to mount into a desktop slot. Gee, I wonder. I wonder why this is taking. There it goes. So you don't need to over torque them. Just make sure they're both tight. That's it. So I got my laptop hard drive mounted into this all-in-one. And it should be just fine. And when I pulled this desktop hard drive, it was also facing up. The circuit board was facing this way. And that tells me that most likely that they have these holes for airflow and also to try to keep the circuit board cooler. That's what I'm thinking. Because there's screw holes here. Right here, there's where the screws were. were they're here, they were mounted here on the edges. And because the the hard drive wasn't like this, so that you can't e you can't even mount it this way from the top. There are screw holes on the sides, but that's not the way this was given to me. So that's pretty much the way. Even this one, when it was installed, the circuit part, the edges of the circuit board was covered. So that should be fine. That should have enough. You know, it, it's not going to overheat. I mean, I can do that. Adios!